Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize for last week. I only posted one video and yeah, I've just been dealing with some stomach issues. I don't know if you guys might even be able to hear it in my videos. My stomach does this weird like grumbling thing and it's really annoying. But um, I would say for about a week or so, I was having this like really bad pain in my stomach. I ended up figuring it out because I used to take pills. I used to take Prevacid for my stomach because I my stomach creates too much acid. And I ran out a while ago. Um, my pharmacist told me I should only take it when I really need it because it blocks calcium and whatever, whatever. Anyways, I ran out a long time ago and my doctor passed away. It's almost a year ago now, I think, if not a year ago. So yeah, I don't have a new doctor yet, a new family doctor, and I wasn't able to get a refill, so I ended up trying Nexium. And after one day of taking Nexium, I was already feeling better. Like, I'm not 100%, like I feel like I'm 99.5%. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, I'm back, and I'm going to be back on track this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, today I wanted to pull out my Petal Pusher palette. I don't know why, but I'm feeling purple today. I don't know. I was kind of in the mood for purple. I did do a purple look like this a long time ago, and I made a video, and I just never posted it. I don't know why. The look came out really good. So, I, yeah, I don't know why I didn't post it, but I ended up deleting that video. So I figured, um, yeah, let's do a purple look. Today I'm going to be using, you know what, I think I'm going to do my eyes first. I, I am going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Foundation, but I'll do that after. I'll start with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer on my lids to get them primed for the eyeshadow. And tell me, you guys, if you've gotten... Um, a Real Technique sponge lately because I noticed that they're like fluffier and I like that. They're not as dense as they used to be. I don't know if they changed them or not, but I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, that was quite the long introduction, wasn't it? I'm going to be using my Cody Airspun Extra Coverage Translucent Setting Powder on my eyelids to set the concealer. I haven't been using it lately and I actually think it's a little better than the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I find that it's less cakey. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys use both of these, this one and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. So again, this is the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette and there's a bunch of different purples. I'm going to be using this side, just this row right here. And I think I will start off with my Luxie 205. And I'm going to go into this light shade right here. Actually, I think I'll put that all over the lid as well as in the crease. All right, and then I'm gonna go into my Royal and Langnickel 430 into this shade right here. And I'm just putting it on the outer corner and maybe, maybe halfway in, maybe not quite. And now I'm going to be taking this little, I don't know what this is called. It's by Eco Tools, anyways. I'm going to use this. And I'm going to go into this really light shade right here. Or should I go into this? No, actually I am going to go into this row. You guys, I'm going to use this shade right here. Looks really pretty. 
and I'm just going to put that on the lower lid and halfway And I'm going to go into the shade right here, just lightly, and blend out these edges. And now I'm going to use a wipe to clean up underneath. Okay, so now for foundation, I'm going to be, like I said, using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And I'm using my Real Techniques sponge to dab that foundation into the skin. And now I'll be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And setting that with the Cody Airspun. Okay, so now I'm just going to take um, this shade right here and I'm going to put that into the lash line. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of this lighter purple shade right here and just bring it underneath that darker purple. And now I'm going to do my contour. I'm going to use my IBY Highlight and Contour Palette. And then I'll be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light. I haven't been using bronzer lately. I don't know why, but... It would really help to add a little bit of warmth to my face. And I'm going to use a little bit of this Mariposa blush. Okay guys, so I went off camera and I did my brows and I threw some mascara on. I'm not wearing lashes today because I'm not going anywhere. So I figured what's the point of throwing on lashes if I'm just going to be sitting around the house. Okay, so as far as lips go, you can go super dark with this dark, deep dark purple called Napa Valley. This is by Ofra. Or you can just wear like a pinky color. This is also by Ofra. This is Santa Ana. Or if you wanted to, you could go nude. And this is Jiffy by ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. And this is also Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop. And this one is Little Stitches. So these are very similar, these two actually on the lips they look very very similar so you can choose like a nude lip a nice pink lip or a bold if you want to go bold you can choose this really deep dark purple and I think I'm gonna go with a pinky color this is Santa Ana by Ofra okay so now that I've taken some of that foundation off of my lips with a makeup wipe I'm going to apply this Santa Ana by Ofra 
I like the smell of Ofer lipsticks. They smell like you can eat them. Don't eat them, but they smell like you can eat them. Okay guys, so now that I have the lipstick on, I don't think it looks good. So I'm gonna take it off. So now that that is off, it looked atrocious with this. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know what you guys think. But I didn't like it, so I'm gonna go and apply this Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop in the shade, or color, sorry, Jiffy. Shade, color, whatever. Okay, you guys, this camera keeps shutting off and it's getting on my nerves because it says 27 minutes I have available. So I don't know why it keeps shutting off. Maybe because it's hot, like the, the, the phone is hot. So that could be why. So I'm just gonna try to get this done. Okay, you guys, so there's the completed look. Like I said, this lipstick looks much better than the dark pink. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.